Welcome to a new vlog. You might recognize this power supply is the Go4 NPS 1601 and if you are a frequent viewer of the channel you might also know that I am working on developing an open source control panel or front panel for this power supply because let's be honest seven segment displays well they can be cheap and uh, really easy to implement in a design they are not really uh, up to modern standards when it when it comes to graphical user interfaces. And so I have started designing the hardware for a replacement control panel. Here it is. This is one of the first prototypes and this is based on an STM32F3 microcontroller and the sponsor of the channel uh, PCBWay was kind enough to manufacture the prototypes for this first version. Uh, they uh, assembled them so we got completely assembled prototypes. We only needed to add like the potentiometers and the uh, display. I've also made an announcement a few months ago on the channel and uh, some people joined the project uh, to work on this because I'm not a really good programmer and so I was searching for people who are familiar with STM32 microcontrollers and are good with programming them in uh, C. So a few people joined the project uh, but unfortunately over the time they got busy, you know how life it is, you get busy with work, you get busy with uh, personal stuff and uh, we haven't made any progress so far or should I say we haven't made much progress. The only code we have so far written for this is uh, a test program that will kind of validate that the LCD is working, the ADC, the uh, DAC is working. So it's kind of like a uh, hardware validation test, but we haven't uh, started work on the actual power supply firmware. So I am making this call again to see if any of my viewers are interested in joining this open source project and dedicating their coding skills to this project. Here is what we need. Most importantly, someone who is familiar with the STM32 F3 series of microcontrollers, uh, someone who has built projects for these microcontrollers before, because our goal here is to use the development environment from STMicro, so that is STM32 Cube IDE and uh, also the included HAL libraries. We will be using free RTOS at the core of this project, so uh, it is equally important that you know your way around free RTOS and uh, have built projects with free RTOS before. In terms of graphics library, we are contemplating with the idea of using LVGL. It seems like it has a bunch of features that could be useful for this project, but we are certainly not fixed on that. And if a better alternative uh, comes up, we can be flexible and we can switch to a different uh, graphics library for this project. If you think you match this uh, description and would like to dedicate some of your free time to working on this open source project, then please reach out to me uh, by email, preferably contact at volllog.com and maybe put some links in that email to show your past work, maybe a link to your uh, GitHub profile. That would certainly help. Please note that you will need to order yourself an NPS 1601 power supply if you don't already have one and the LCD used in this project and I will be sending one of the uh, prototype units to you if you match the description. So I don't want to make this uh, video too long, uh, just reach out to me and we can continue this discussion by email or on the Discord server which I created specifically uh, to support this project. Thank you for watching. I would really appreciate if you would hit the like button for this video to kind of make the algorithm of YouTube show this video to as much of my uh, viewers as possible to increase the chances of uh, finding the right people that are willing to join this project. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.